just kidding, I don't care. Bye. All right, peeps. We are at Target today. Just gonna do a quick look around, see what we can find. There, there's the pops. And uh, let's see. Uh, they got a ton of new ones. But we got Bob Ross. That's from my boy uh, Jaime. He was looking for that one. Now let's see. Nothing behind here. We're gonna look through the rest of these real fast. And I can guarantee you, I mean it's four, it's after four o'clock. They ain't got nothing for chase wise. But it is cool to see the shiny. And fun time foxes. For the love. Yep. Yeah, I think that'd be it. But we did get a rod. So hey, we got something. Let's go over on the other side. See what they got. No, oh, that's new. Wish they had the Optimus. I'd get that one in a heartbeat. But all right, let's go look at some toys. See what they got. Doop -doop. Eh, combiner force. Yeah, nothing big. All right. I can see you, brother. And nothing else. They ain't got Jack. And Jack left town. So we got eh, slash slash. Berserker. Same old people. Just need a slug slinger. My boy Tony Towns hooked me up and got me an overlord yesterday. So thank you, Tony. I appreciate it, brother. Yeah, Star Wars looking pretty weak here too. And yeah. Nope. So they ain't got much in the way of multiverse either. Just soups. They do have the two pack though now. This looks like uh, utter junkola to me. But to each his own. Alright, Legends. Odinson. So I got the uh, Nebula. <laughs> well, that was an inside joke. Let's see. But it's cool to see. But Netflix finally showed up at Target. So, and Death's Head's still here. So, they they not be much here. Rangers, nada. And the overflow area. Okay. Not a bad looking Gamora, but I think the new one's better. Warlock, he's been here a long time. So is Axanello. The Golden Nugget, that really needs to go down. And then I might pick it up. All right, people, that's it for Target. We're gonna see if they got anything in clearance and outcome not good. So, uh, next stop, I'll see you guys at Walmart. All right. 
All right, we got Walmart and Victoria. Finn. Damn it. I blame geeked up for this. For getting me into the Black Series. Zuvio Army, but there's a Finn. So at least they had something. We got a ton of the general uh, Organa three and three quarter versions. And they got tons of pops. But it's all stuff that nobody really wants. We got wrestlers. Huh, another mankind. And no, nope. just got the mother box ones. That's an old one. I must have found that in the back. That wasn't here last time. And let's see. As you can see, we got tons and tons of this stuff. So what you want to bet there's a ton of Lokis and Thors in here. Two Lady Thors. So I must have got another case. Three Lady Thors. Loki, Thor, Thor, Loki, dang. Yeah. One, one Hera. Two Hera. Or two Hella. Damn. Been a long day. Yeah. Rocket. Yeah, they got they got no shortages of Thor wave here. Oh, come on, really? Look at this. Does that really look like a rocket? Ah. That's just sad, people. Golden Nugget again. And that's it. Another rocket. Another rocket. There's like 10 rockets here. All right, that's enough with the rockets. But yeah, hella. But no Aries. Somebody must have snatched up. There's another Odin. I'm helping out Walmart today. And. And another Loki. Good grief. So if you need a Loki or a Thor or Rocket, we got them here, people. And. Yeah. Of course, nothing. That was perfect. No. Still got swarm. They're everywhere. Just no deluxe hot rod anywhere. So, not too shabby, Walmart. All right. Well, I gotta go do a pickup. See what, see if our stuff came in. So, I'll see you guys at the house. Christmas. All right. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's one way to start it, I guess. Um. So, um been a good week uh, we got a lot of stuff done this week's been really busy for all of us here at the house um, but did um, find a couple things this week and then I showed off all of, showed off what I found during my live stream and then of course I unboxed a couple of things so I wanted to, for all my YouTube people that didn't get a chance to see the live stream to see what we did get in this week 
plus we got some more boxes and we got some books so wanted to show you guys what we got all right all right so first up as you guys saw i did find a bob ross this is for jess she she really wanted him um i know there's supposed to be some other variants of it too i think there's like a target one and there's a flock variant one so i'm gonna see if i can find the rest of those for all right now um at that same target of course we got spider-man homecoming and this is the um extra bonus disc version as well as comes with a comic book as you can see comic book here so i love how target does theirs though i always love the book option to take give us with that um then um alan shiriyama um I, it's, I was talking to him the other day and he said hey you want this and I said yes I want this because I'm trying to still finish this setup because Georgia never got these in their targets so he hooked me up with it so big shout out to my boy Alan Shiriyama um, known as Papaholics Anonymous on Instagram so thank you I appreciate it brother <coughs> <coughs> much better so um, been doing some deals with uh, Ryan Thomas and and unboxing art Arthur Yell and we got some really good ones this week so we got us the Phoenix and then this one of course is the old toy biz Marvel Legends and I love that effect in the background that's freaking awesome they just don't make them like that anymore so that was one and then for my MODOK we got the variant version of Moon Knight as you can tell in the back he's actually standard in black and white versus silver and white so I'm happy to get this version as well <coughs> so the only one I need left out of these is still need Captain Marvel, um, Spider Woman, and Beta Ray Bill. And then I'll be done with MODOK, finally. Alright. Then next up we got my boy, Wolverine. Now this one is a little different. So this initially came out in uh, Series 3 as the masked and unmasked uh, Wolverine. And then I'm um, talking to my uh, boy Tony Towns. Happy birthday, by the way, Tony. Um, he told me that they reissued this unmasked one in Series 6. So I thought I got lucky and got like a factor defect, but not so much. But still, it's still awesome to have it. So, and I can't wait for the new version of this guy to come out um, with the X Men wave next year. And then, lastly, but not leastly, leastly. We got Days of Future Past, Logan. So, of course, he comes with his bike in issue 141 from the Uncanny X-Men. Um, so, it's freaking awesome. I love, I love these ones. Um, and there actually is a variant version of him. He comes with a white shirt and a blue pants. And it's called the Outback one. He actually has a hat. I'm trying to find that one as well. And then, I want Vengeance. Because I want Vengeance to go with the Ghost Rider phasing variant that I got earlier from Ryan. <coughs> so yeah, so that was kind of the uh, things I unboxed on um, Tuesday. So if you get a chance, go check it out. Um, and then I'll always come back and check me out on Tuesday. Because I'll always keep trying to have good stuff. So we're going to move these aside. So I can show you what else we got this week. So, of course, this has been, it's a heavy bag of comics this week. Um, it's because of all the Marvel Legacy Lenticulars that came out. Um, so first up we got Cable 150. And it's old school with uh, New Mutants 87. So, and I have New Mutants 87, so. <coughs> Dang, excuse me guys. Um, next up we have Champions 13, 
with High Evolutionary on the cover, which is an homage to the Avengers Annual, the Evolutionary War. Next up, we got the unbelievable Gwenpool, which is Lenticular with Fantastic Four. And then we got um, Return to Planet Hulk, the Incredible Hulk one. And this is actually a really good read. I love the Planet Hulk series, so as you can see, Big Bubba's right here, the Marvel Select one. <coughs> and then we got Invincible Iron Man, 593, and this is actually an homage to the old old one from 150, where it was uh, Iron Man versus Doctor Doom, and of course, it's now Iron Heart versus Doctor Doom. Next up, we got Luke Cage, number six, which is an homage to the old Luke Cage, Heroes for Hire, number one. And this is probably my favorite cover so far they've done. Um, I love the X-Men ones, and the Wolverine one is, is awesome. But So, if you guys remember, in the 80s, we had this graphic novel, The Death of Captain Marvel. And this one is actually the death of um, the mighty Thor. So this is starting a new saga out there. But um, I love that graphic novel because Captain Marvel actually died from cancer. He died from something natural. It wasn't supernatural or, you know, he was killed off by somebody. He was just a you know, normal guy at that point and, got, and he passed away from cancer. Great story. Great read. Done by Jim Starlin. If you've not read it. Go out and try to get it. I think you probably can get it on digital by now. <coughs> or hit your local comic shop and see if they have a copy of it. But still one of my favorite stories till this day. And then we got uh, Monsters Unleashed number 7. And it's an homage to Fantastic Four number 1. And then, if you guys have been reading any of the Venom or the Spider-Man books lately... You knew that in Spider uh, Spider Gwen 24, that she became Gwenum. Well, this is Spider Gwen 25, and this is an homage to the old McFarlane Amazing Spider-Man number uh, 315. And then, of course, we got some regular books. Of course, Venom 156. X-Men Gold, number 14. Gen X, number 7. The regular version of Cable, 150. And this is this is an awesome read, guys. If you read the first five issues of Cable, now that we're back on the legacy numbering, if you don't understand what the legacy numbering is, so if you see up here, it says 150. You know, you're saying, well, Nate, we just went through issues one through five. Why are we on 150? Well, what they did is they took all the old issues from before, combined them all together in one run, and then they started with this issue being that next issue. So, and they did that for all the books. All right. Of course, Deadpool versus Old Man Logan. Um, if you hadn't read it, go read it. It was Deadpool versus Punisher, one through five. Really good read. Um, and... This is probably going to be about the same way. It's going to be an awesome read. And then lastly, of course, we've got to have our DC. Batman. And this is the Drowned. It's a Dark Knight's Metal tie-in. So, definitely get your medals if you've not read that one. Alright. <coughs> so, let's see. We're going to start with this one. So this one comes from Shardimus Prime. Um, one of one of his giveaways um, through him. So, and funny thing is, is that um, he lives in California, and I live in California. He mailed us to my old address in Georgia, and then of course, uh, in U UPS and our great wisdom, decided to say, hey, they shot they shot me a notice and said, hey, do you want to have this read delivered to your new home? I said yes, of course. So, so Shardimus Prime, thank you, brother. I appreciate it, man. Let's see what's in here. I've been watching Shardimus since, oh, 
09, 08, 09, I think, on YouTube. When everybody else was just starting out doing reviews on Transformers. Ugh. Come over there. Man, it does not want to come out. <clears throat> okay, so he sent me Transformers of last night, the 4K um, HD with Blu-ray and digital. So, thank you, Shardimus. Dude, I really appreciate it, man. Um, I've been a big supporter of his for a long time. Um, and his off the bottom is and a lot of them so um, so thank you I really appreciate it man <coughs> all right story time told you it would be a story and it is on this collector's corpse first Avengers appearance this came out months ago um, so when Jess and I was moving from Georgia to here, of course, we had some mail that got mismatched. Some of her stuff, some of my stuff. Never made it. Um, this got mailed to Georgia, and then it said delivered to my old address. So I called up the, ma the post office there and said, hey, can you guys check out for the package for Jess and my package? And they said, sure. And they went to go look better, and it wasn't there. It was gone. So it made us think that probably the new owners kept them, you know, for some odd reason. Who knows? Which is a felony, by the way. Don't do it. Um, so the, so never got it, of course. Um, so I figured all right, I'm never going to get it again. Um, and then they said, uh, Collector Corpse came back and said, hey, uh, we'll, we'll probably do a replacement if you never got it. And I said, never got it. So... Collector Corpse and Funko sent me out a replacement box. So, thank you guys. From the bottom of my heart, I appreciate it. Because this came out a while ago. Everybody else had already got all this. So you guys probably already know what's in here. Um, but I don't. So, and I've been waiting forever to get it. So we're going to unbox this thing. Alright. Of course you get the standard. Within every Collector's Corpse. You get... Obligatory comics and drawings. <coughs> this one's done in Amazing Fantasy number 15, of course. The first Spider Man, the first Iron Man, the first Hulk, and then we also have Captain America. Um, so we got we got us a patch, the Captain America patch. Uh, and then our pin this time is Nick Fury. That's pretty awesome in my book. I love Nick Fury. Always have. Alright. Of course, so our October box is going to be Thor Ragnarok. Because the movie's about to come out. So. So first thing in here, we have us a shirt, and I and I love the shirts they do. I really do. They do a good job with them. We got the Incredible Hulk, number one, an homage to the uh, the first issue. So that's awesome. So thank you guys. Hold them. This will not go away. Um, then, first up, they sent Vision. There's a and there's a dent right there and a crush right there. This is the first time I've actually got one that's been messed up, which sucks. And then, yeah, luckily this one's not. This one actually is, means more to me. First appearance of Iron Man. So, Tales of Suspense 39. Of course, I got that issue. And of course, I got a reprint issue. I don't have the original. 
love to have the first issue, but way too expensive. But that's what we got. And that is all that's in the box this month. So, thank you. Thank you, Collector Court, for hooking us up. Um, all right. So, in that same spirit, <laughs> this just came in too. And this is going to be the last one, guys. So, I know this just came out, so I don't want to spoil this for anybody. So, this will be done last. And I'll bring it up, right back up, once we're ready for it. That's heavy. It's a smaller box, too. So, it's good. Uh, so, put you here. Put you here, vision. So, we got us some syndicate mail. This is from my boy, Big Kid Kingpin. Um... I saw this in one of his videos, and he said he wasn't sure if he was going to keep it or not, and I said, well, if you don't want it, I do. And he said, dude, I got you. So he hooked me up with this one, too. So you know I'm going to get you back. Um, so Steve, thank you, brother. I appreciate it. And if you've not um, subscribed to him, go out and check his channel. I'll put a link down below for him. I mean, he does some great stuff. Me and him have been great friends since this all started for both of us. Um... I can't thank him enough for this. I really can't. Because I just started getting into these. Um, as you guys saw. And there's something else I want to show you too. That we did get this week. So. We got. Black Series Obi-Wan Kenobi. And this is awesome dude. Thank you so much man. You know, the ironic part is I had found two or three of these when I was in Georgia, and I wasn't collecting Black Series at the time. But now that I am, you know, and I'll say that I am collecting Black Series now. Just not everything. I don't want to, none of the dumb people. Um, this is awesome. So, there's that one. But what we also did get this week is, yes, I got a fin. Got to have at least one fin. Keep his hat to stay on, be nice. Um, also picked up the Jedi Ray. Um, and this was on a good deal too, because and shout out to Hypno Comics for these two. Because they had buy one, get one free. I had got these actually last I think last weekend or something like that. Um, and then of course, you can't have Ray without without having Luke. Um, so that was awesome. And then my boy, Tim Risdale, hooked it up really good this week. He sent me a Scarif Trooper, a Flame Trooper, and where's the other one? Oh, yeah. A Canaan. And then the one that we were actually trading for. this guy and this is the one I have been looking everywhere for Darth Revan everywhere and I wasn't even collecting them but he looked like such a cool figure that I said I wanted to have him um, and we did it we did a good trade I got him so if you guys saw I got him those two flocked uh, beast men and he hooked me up it was only really supposed to be for Revan and Kanan and that was it and then he put in the other two flame troopers, or the other two troopers. So, thank you, Tim. Dude, I really appreciate it. Um, and then Big Kid, thank you, brother. He's coming out. He's going to go with my Qui-Gon, so now you know I need to find an Anakin and find everybody else. So, yeah. Um, put you there. And I'm just going to move these guys to the side. Because i got something real special to show you guys that we got in the mail. So. We got a box. Um, yeah, this is this one's really special to me. Um, and it's probably not special to a... Probably won't be special to a lot of people. But I remember having these ones a long time ago when they first came out. And then, of course, I came in the service. And I don't know where none of my stuff really went after that. So, but saw it on sale. 
and I had to pick it back up. Um, so this is this has been one of those ones that I've been wanting to find. Um, I had found one of these sets uh, in Georgia right before we were getting ready to leave at my local comic shop. So I picked it up there. But this one I did not have. Yeah, buddy. Um, it isn't good wrapping, too, on it. Keep it protected. But yeah, I've been wanting this one for a long time. You know, and it's nothing huge either. You know, it's just something different. And I like, I like oddball things. I always have. Um, so let's get this guy out of here. Mm -hmm. So we got giant size X Men. Let me open this up. Uh. As you guys can see, yeah, buddy. So these are kind of a weird animal. Um. And this is, uh, let's see, let's see if I can open it up. Um, these are in the in between, between when um, Toy Biz stopped doing the four inch figures and before they did the Marvel Legends. So these are considered pre-Marvel Legends, that's what they're considered. Um, and I'm going to open them up and show you. Let's see what I am. Um, so we got, oh, there's one, Nightcrawler, so these are, like I said, these are like pre-Marvel Legends, these are before they started doing it, and there's like a lot of articulation to these, um, but they are like way stiff because they've probably not been messed with in probably many years because this set came out in 1998 so this set is almost 20 years old but this is awesome because as you can tell here they only have that one little joint there it's not a ball joint it's not anything it's just a joint so of course you get Nightcrawler you get Thunderbird you get Banshee and what I, that's what I was talking about here is that you've got ankle joints here you've got some wrist swivels you know some upward movement you've also got some uh, waist rotation you know these are like single jointed knees. So this, like I said, this is before they get into the regular Marvel Legends scale. Sunfire. We got Colossus. And like I said, these are like, definitely you can tell these feel like the old Toy Fizz ones. And then last of the storm. So yeah, not these aren't like I said, these are pretty awesome. You know, just for what they were for back then. And they're heavy, like heavy, heavy. Like I think the 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 hair alone is made of so much plastic on this one that it won't stay in. Stay in hardly at all. But I'll do some work with them, see what I can do. But yeah. This is the uh, giant size X-Men set, you know, and I'm happy to have it. I've been wanting it for a long time, never could find it, you know, and it's just one of those ones. Uh, you just got to be able to dig around, find it, and I got, oh, and by the way, I got it for 20 bucks. So, 20 bucks, yeah. I'm definitely going to do it. 
So yeah, that would be that would be the set. And they're probably gonna stay in here for a little while, so I can figure out how I want to display them. But they're kind of oddball. I don't really think they have a legend scale. I only got one more toy biz for point scale, so we'll have to see. Alright people, so we are at that part of the video where I'm going to do the unboxing. Now let me show you, like I said this box is heavy, but let me just show you the size difference. So yeah, this is a lot smaller box than this one. So if you don't want to see in this video, thank you guys for watching this far. I appreciate it. Um, and if and if you can, give me a, drop me a like, give me a comment, do whatever you, you need. Um, please, um, please, like I said, just check it, check out my channel, check out everybody else's channel, check out Big King Kingpins and those. Um, but if you do want to see what's in here, we're getting it's time to get to this one. So thank you guys. Okay. So Thor Ragnarok. All right. And it says our December box is going to be Hulk. So interesting. <coughs> okay. So this time, instead of a shirt. We get a Thor beanie. We get a Hera pen. Um, oh, this is sweet. It's a uh, Thor Ragnarok fidget spinner. <laughs> I was wondering why this box felt heavier. And then they gave us some magnets. Man. Come out of there. Some playing cards. Sorry about the glare too. And then, of course, we got a couple of pops. We got Thor, Ragnarok, Loki. And then, Helmeted Thor. So, I'll probably pick up the Hulk to go with this one. Just so you can have somebody to compete with. And that, my people, is it for the box. Short and sweet. Um... There was no patch in this one though, ironically. Which I think is the first time I've not seen a patch in one of these boxes. Um, but I mean, you get some good stuff with the magnets, the fidget spinner. You know, if you really want to consider it, this is this could be the patch, you know, on the beanie. So, all right people, that's everything that we got this week in the mail, plus the books, plus all the stuff we've unboxed from earlier this week. So, like I said, a big shout out to Tim Risdale, Hypno Comics, Big Kid Kingpin. Um, because, and then, of course, Collector's Corpse for helping out with everything. I really appreciate you guys hooking me up with another box on that. Thank you guys so much. So, that's going to be it for, for, for today's video, guys. If you liked this video, oh, and uh, got to thank uh, Shardimus Prime, too. Because thank you for the... the Last night, bro. Appreciate it, brother. Um, it's one of those days, guys. But if you did, if you did like this video, <laughs> like it down below. Uh, share it out. If you're first time on my channel, subscribe. Hit the button down there, and then just hit that little arrow button. I think it's like right around here. Little bell button. Um, if you want to get notified whenever I put new content up. So, it's just one way to get notified when Nate Nate's going on. If I'm going live or what I'm doing. Not. Uh, like I said... Lives on Tuesday, usually 7.30 um, Pacific Standard Time on Cali time. 
So, if you guys like this, give me a big thumbs up. All right. This has been your redneck from Georgia Nate. Negative. Red, redneck from Cali Nate now. Man, I'm, I'm all flustered. And, yeah, buddy. This has been a good day. All right.